Good day, everyone. This is Grom Grom. Welcome to my channel. I saw these plants growing in my family's backyard during a trip back home. What caught my attention are the growing heliconia plants. These exotic, bright-colored flowers came in in a wide range of hues and combinations. How did these plants ended up here? These exotic blooms are varieties of heliconia plants. I have only seen these plants in tropical gardens. These plants are also known as lobster claw, wild plantain, or parrot plant. They are called this because of their beak like bracts. Rostata variety. It is also known as hanging lobster claw or false bird of paradise. It is a large evergreen perennial with huge banana like dark green leaves. Gardeners love their lush foliage and bright striking bracts. This plant never failed to amaze with their forms and colors with brightly hued bracts that cluster up the stem. This unique plant is often used as a specimen for tropical gardens. These are the Heliconia Sitacorum variety. They are evergreen perennials forming a dense turf of green leaves. Their clusters of flowers range in colorful hues of pink, green, yellow, and orange. last for weeks and are excellent in flower arrangement. This is the Sitacorum fuchsia variety. It has a creamy yellow flowers and pink bracts. Golden Torch variety. The golden colored bracts and wild leaves make this one a great filler and a splash of color. This is the Sitacorum Andromeda variety. Andromeda is one of the most root-hardy and cold-hardy variety. It is a flowering sitacorum that display a fantastic show of colors. 
This is the Heliconia Expanded Lobster Claw variety. It is a nervous perennial up to 4 meters tall with leaves resembling those of bananas. The inflorescence is erect with red or orange bracts. structures aren't flowers but rather boat shaped modified leaves or bracts where earlier flower arose these blue black shining things are fruits the flower period have long passed These blue-black fruits are not edible by humans, but birds eat them and spread their internal seeds. The easiest way to propagate this plant is through the underground stems called rhizomes. Rhizomes are developed from axillary buds and grow horizontally. They also have the ability to allow new shoots to grow upwards. To make production possible, take a piece out of the plant's rhizome. Put the plant in a pot or wait until the plant is splitting the pot it came in and then put it up. They don't mind being slightly pot bound and might grow better in a tighter pot. Plant will clump over time. So divide adult plants to increase the plant's collection. Heliconias set seeds relatively freely in their natural environment and they have the right pollinators, usually birds. These plants prefer a spot with partial sun or shade, a fertile and moist soil, tropical conditions, warm and humid with abundance of water. This family of plants are classified endangered or rare due to the threat to their habitat. The least the family can do is to maintain the plant's habitat. Removing invasive species like weeding. Propagating the plants by dividing the rhizomes and transplanting. And hopes that these plants will thrive and populate.